Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cover another Instagram color effect. And this one is the X Pro 2 effect, or cross process. Now, I've done a tutorial on cross process before, but I haven't covered this specific shade of the color. So, I'm going to show you how to take your photo from this to this, and it's all in one simple curves adjustment layer. So let's work on our original photo here and just head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Alright, and just click OK there. I like to work on my curves layer in the expanded format, which is this little button you hear, see right here. It's normally in this view, but I like to pop it out so I can see more. Now for the red, green, blue channel here, we're going to make a few points. and I'm going to tell you the output and the input of my points so that you can replicate it exactly how you see in this tutorial. So the first point we're going to put it at an output of 45 and an input of 62. And the second point I'm going to put it at 128 by 129. So if you notice those two little boxes on the bottom will show you where you are. So, something right about there is fine. Now for the third point, we're going to do a 204 by 187. And I'll explain to you what these points are doing to the overall photo. And of course you can adjust them based on the photo that you're using. So pretty much all we've done here is created a little curve which increased the overall contrast of the photo. It made the darks darker and the lights lighter. Now if you click on this drop down menu here and head over to red channel we're going to start editing the red channel. So a few points here we're going to start at 31 by 54 and the next point we're going to do 86 by 105 and you can see what this is doing to the colors the third point we're going to do 144 by 148 and again you can adjust it to your specific photo just make sure that the overall curve is near the same but let's continue on to the fourth point here 209 by 201 Alright, so another similar S-curve here for the red channel, but it dips a little bit lower near the shadows, and we don't bring the highlights of the reds up as much. So what that does is just gives us a little bit of blue to the shadows and a small amount of red. Now let's head over to the green channel and make our adjustments here. For the green, we're not going to do too much. We're just going to do one point at 61 by 87 you don't have to be too exact and then another at 231 by 231 so what that does is brings out the purple of the shadows so combined with the blue and the adjustment we just made here it's a more bluish purple in the shadows now if you head over to the blue channel we're just going to raise the yellows of the highlights to give it that purple yellow contrasted final look so the first point we're going to do actually raise this corner point this time which is going to bring out the blues in the shadow and just raise it to about 25 somewhere around there and the next point we're going to do 82 by 76 the third point we're going to do 149 by 163 
And for the last point, we're going to do 181 by 255, which means to bring this actual corner point and drag it down to about 181. And when you drag the highlights of the blue down, that pulls the blue out of the highlights, which means that the yellows are brought out more. So what you have in our final result here is the Instagram cross-process effect, which is a kind of vintage look, but it still has that contrast along with the typical vintage colors of the blue and the yellow. And I find that this specific settings that I showed you here work well on most photos, but of course you can always adjust these points back and forth to make them work best with the photo that you're using. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.